Hey everybody, Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2016 Mitsubishi Mirage. We're going to have two wiring options. Over here we're going to have the Kurt. It's going to provide you with a four pole flat trailer connector. And then over here we're going to have the Takancha wiring kit which is also going to give you a four pole flat trailer connector. Now both of these are going to be made specifically for your Mitsubishi Mirage and they're going to install very similarly. But our Kurt and Takancha are going to have a few benefits and downsides from one another. So let's take a closer look and look at those. So the biggest difference really between our Kurt and our Takancha is that our Takancha is going to be a little bit more involved when it comes to the installation. And that's mainly because our converter box here is going to be a powered converter box. That means we are going to have to run a wire from the back here, connect the wire using a butt connector, and run it up to the battery. Now the benefit of that is, is that the box is not going to be pulling too much on our taillight circuits. It's going to be powered directly from the battery, but again, it is a little bit more work to get it installed. Whereas with the Kurt, we don't have a power wire. The converter box really is just going to get the power from the signals on our car, and it's not going to be pulling anything from the battery. Now the upside to that is the fact that, well, it's easier to install, and we don't have to run that wire. But the downside is, is if your trailer has a lot of lights, it's going to be putting a lot of stress and strain on the taillight circuit because it doesn't have its own power. Aside from the powered converter box and the non-powered converter box, there's not really a whole lot of differences between our wiring. They're both going to have T-connector style connectors, which is just going to plug in line with our taillight circuit. So one end will plug into the actual taillight itself, and then one end will plug into the harness. That way it gets the signals, come into our converter box, and out through our trailer connector. Now, honestly, with the Kurt, it is going to be a little bit quicker because we're only going to have to put in two connectors and then ground our system out using the ring terminal that's already attached to this white wire. So once you do that, really, then it's just a matter of putting the panels back in and you're ready to go. But with the Takancha, it is going to require a little bit more because, again, we are going to have to run that power wire. But if you have a lot of lights on your trailer, you probably do want to have a separate powered converter that we're not putting a whole lot of stress on those lights. But let's be honest about it. Nobody's pulling a very large trailer with their Mirage because it's really not rated to do that. So if you have a small trailer, maybe you have a cargo carrier with some lights on it, something that you want to light up, a four pole trailer connector is a really easy way to get those lights rather than hardwiring it into your Mirage. But again, if you don't need that much power, the Kurt's going to do a perfectly fine job and it's that much easier to install. So that's one I recommend. With all that being said, again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com and that'll finish up your look at the best trailer wiring options for your Mitsubishi Mirage.